This is Twit. As everybody knows, um, Microsoft was going to launch this thing with that recall feature, which I think a lot of people would have found really useful. Useful, excuse me. Um, and then that fell apart. And now what we have left is fell apart, meaning blew up. Yeah. Yeah. They ripped it right out. And now we have a bunch of other stuff. So auto SR, like I said, in games is great. But then the, the, with one exception, the rest of these features are just like not quite there. So mm -hmm. in paint, we talked about this last time. This is additional feature code creator. You can draw in the app or you can actually use a text prompt. And it will um, create an image for you. And, eh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> pretty terrible, frankly, low quality, low resolution too, which is weird unless you start with it, a high quality image. If you don't, if you just have it generate one from scratch, it's like 512 by 512. I don't know how anyone could use that. Um, there's an image creator. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm actually mixing those up. The, the image creator in photos is the one that does the low res stuff. It's bizarre. It's so low res. I don't even understand what the point of it is. But if you think about um, uh, Copilot in the web or however you access it, right? And designer, that image creation capability, it's really nice. Like you can do really complicated prompts and it it's, does a great job. I pay for Copilot. I get these amazing 16 by nine images that I use a lot in the web. Right. Mm -hmm. So I, I used a prompt I had used the other day in image creator in paint, which was about a rotten apple in a market full of fruit and blah, 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 with light shining on it. And in paint, uh, sorry, in photos, this version of this capability runs against the MPU against small language models installed on the device. It doesn't go to the cloud. Wow. And it is not good. Uh, it is not even close. Uh, it has never once created what I asked. Yeah, so no. when I, yeah, create, like in other words, or just you, you switch to it. Doesn't matter. I've never gotten it to work, and it doesn't matter because honestly, these are not sixteen by nine images. They're only five twelve by five twelve pixels, which is Ugh. garbage. So, I wrote this is the prompt I use: a small rotten apple with a bite taken out of it on the edge of a vast market of fresh fruit and vegetables of all kinds, with a light shining on it from above. And what I got was pictures of apples, most of which were not rotten, no market, no <laughs> oh, other Lord. stuff, sometimes no light, like just garbage, like absolute garbage. Um, now, so that one's same useless. Prompt fed to a, to a mid journey or a dolly, you get good results. Uh, you can see it. It's on my, I have a, I, I have a link to it in the article, but I, I wrote an article about Apple this week and you can see it on the article. It's beautiful. It's exactly what I asked for. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, a beautiful, high quality, high resolution, 16 by nine, whatever. Um, Paint. No, I keep confusing this because it's kind of weird. Sorry. Fo the Photos app today in Windows 11, anyone who has this now can use a background blur, remove and replace feature, which is really nice. Works really well. Um, they've added something to it called Restyle Image. So you take, if you have a Copilot Plus PC, this one's really interesting. You put a photo, you, you're editing a photo. So I, I used a photo of my wife as the example in the article, but it has um, style uh, presets like impressionist, uh, anime, you know, et cetera, Renaissance, whatever. Sure. So I applied this to a picture of my wife and it, it applied this to everything, but my wife. Right. And I was like, <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, okay. <laughs> but what I really, so it's sort of like image, it's like background replace. Right. But right. I'm like, that's not what I want. I actually wanted my wife as part of this photo to be restyled as well. And it turns out there's a little note in there. that says, we can't do this with human faces, right? And then uh, I guess we can understand why, right? They don't want people to distort people and then publish pictures of people look terrible or whatever it is. So they're not allowing you to do that with people's faces. Like, fair enough. So I tried this on other photos, like some fried eggs on a plate or a beautiful sunset. And I got to tell you, this feature, awesome. It's not why you would spend 1500 bucks on a new PC, but it does all run locally and it's, Awesome. And they also have a, a lot of these features have a creativity slider. And the way that that works is it uh, app applies more creativity. I guess the only way to say it to the image based on how high, high it's dialed up. And it's, it's, it's excellent. Like this is actually really nice. This is the type of thing I actually would have enjoyed showing more images of. I just didn't want to take up, you know, a huge amount of space in an article, but I, I tried this against a bunch of different images and this works really nice. Like this is good. I, I do wish it worked with people. I think that'd be kind of fun, but um, this is possibly the best feature, um, a, you know, unique AI feature in these computers, I would say. 
Um, live captions is one of the best features in Windows 11, as I've said many times, but um, in Copilot Plus PCs, they've added real-time language translation, which sounds mm -hmm. awesome. The only problem is it's only into English. <laughs> so if you don't, if your English is not your native language and you're trying to do translations, you're kind of out of luck, but it works against 40 different languages. I don't know any languages really. I speak a little bit of Spanish, so I did test it with a Spanish language uh, YouTube video. To, yeah, I may seem good, but I'm not really the authoritative source there. Honestly, this will absolutely support two-way translation across all supported languages at some point, right? I mean, we know that. Yeah, so obviously, yeah. Yeah, it's just this this one might emerge as one of the best features over time. But right now it's just kind of limited to uh translating into English. And then um I want it, I don't I don't think I can do it from here. I, I guess I can't. Let me try. Let me just put up uh where is this thing? Windows Studio Effects. So Windows Studio Effects is a uh a feature. Oh, I can't do it across that camera, that's why. Um, is a feature that Microsoft has supported in um NPU based PCs for a while, like I think since Surface Pro 9, maybe, which was Qualcomm based. Um, it's kind of carried along. There are uh, kind of a core set of these features that work with just about any computer with an NPU, but mm -hmm. there are some features that only work if you have a really powerful NPU, right? And so I got to try those for the first time, like creative filters, for example. And this is where you can apply filters that make you look like a painting, but you you know, you're moving and talking and gesturing and the whole thing. It looks like an animated oh, painting. Oh, you're actually I have to moving say, the whole time. Oh, that's kind yeah, of Yeah, like I, I, I would, yeah, weird, if I could but... figure out, let me, Um, I bet I can't make this work here, but I'll try because what the heck. Oh, no, um, you're, you're turn this on into the Zoom stream. I love it. I'm yeah, so let me see. I'm powered up anyway. It's a start. So this is the laptop display, obviously, right? So yeah. let me see if I can make this work. Probably not, but what the heck. Turn this thing on. Live. Turn on. Yep. We love a live video. Oh, oh, that's yeah. Okay, you're getting a yeah. lot of it. So, yeah, uh, you look at our Yeah. Uh, let's see. A the best a, one is this a, one. Yeah. yeah, this is kind of the cool one. The and then, uh, and you can combine them, right? So I could do like background blur, portrait lighting. Wow. Eye, co eye contact, which is really screwed up when it works. Automatic framing. I guess if I, I assume it's gonna. Or maybe eventually maybe it's got such kinda... a wide view. It doesn't really need to. Yeah. But you can, so, you know, I, I'm not going to turn these on during a work call, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know, kind of thing, but they're actually pretty cool. Like it's, yeah. I, I'm not saying they're useless. Impressive. Yeah. That it's, you can, it's doing that live. That's, that's cool. <laughs> yeah. I think so. It's, it's interesting. Hey, it's me, Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Windows Weekly. If you want to see more and want to catch the whole show, you can subscribe in your favorite podcast client or visit our website, twit.tv slash WW. And of course, there's links right below me.